state your state name and spell out for the microphone. My name is Leslie Brown, B R O W N. Uh, what is your current occupation? I have been a teacher in the Metro City School District for the past four years. I teach social studies at Metro City High School. Uh, what degrees do you have to make you stay in this school? Uh, I have a BA in secondary education and I'm certified to teach English and social studies in the state of New York. Uh, what is your relationship with Chris Moss? Well, Chris was in my, one of my social studies class last year, but I don't have a correct relationship. Uh, what is your goal in your social studies class? In my classes, I try to meet the individual needs of the students. I like to see students reach their potential. That's my ultimate goal in my class. So what do you teach in your class to reach the goal? Um, we do a lot of small group activities, role plays, discussions, and debates. They're designed to help students succeed. Uh, what do you think of your class students? I think I have students at various levels. Some have difficulties with reading, others with writing, and others lack verbal skills. Oh, uh, then what are some solutions for those problems? Uh, I try to set up the activity so that all the students can participate regardless of what level they are on. For example, before we do a role play, I have a good student read parts out loud. This way, if students aren't capable of reading the material, they can still know what's going on. Uh, how do you evaluate your class? Well, there are several components to a student's grade attendance, class participation, homework, test scores, and other degree activities. Uh, how do you score the students' homework? I give homework assignments for students receive extra credit for just handling the homework in. A good job on the homework gets extra credit. I don't penal penal penalize the students for who do not their homework correctly. I just want to encourage them at least to try and do their homework. Uh, how do you test your class students? Well, tests are made of multiple choice, fill in the blank, true, false, short answer, essay questions. Before each test, I have a review of the material that will be covered. In addition, I read the questions from the test out loud so I can be sure all the students get, understand the questions. Uh, what are other alternative grading methods? Often, the students get to participate in a mock trial. They have to prepare for it, and I grade them under their preparation. I give the students a sheet that indicates how I will grade them on, on each as aspect and what skills I'm looking for to give students an opportunity to pull up their grades. What is your school's policy on students' grades? The school's policy is to pass students when they're responsible. We are told all students should be helped to meet their potential. Our learning program evaluation system should be designed to help students progress the best of their opportunities. Okay. What is your view on Chris Moss? Well, Chris was, is a very personable and likable student. Chris often participates in class and offers good ideas in class, class discussions. Chris has opinions and never hesitates to voice them. Uh, how often Chris did his homework? Well, not often. I would have liked to see Chris do more homework. Uh, how are Chris's current grades? Chris isn't a very good test taker. His written work was poor and the test grades reflected this. Both of the grades were these and there are a couple of C's. Uh, what is Chris's most prominent value to, do you think? Chris did do well on special projects. Last year Chris was a witness in our mock trial and in the citywide competition won an award for best witness. If the work is interesting and someone works with Chris, the level of work produced is very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, cross examination. <coughs> Mr. Leslie, you knew that Chris was illiterate, am I right? I'm sorry. You knew that Chris was illiterate, am I right? Illit illiterate. She can not well, and the test, test shows that he was kind of, but I'm not sure. He was good at mock trials, so. You, you okay. So, in the class, you made other students read the passages as Chris could not read, am I correct? Yes. You let good students to read the passages out loud instead of Chris, am I right? Yeah. So you didn't have Chris to improve her skill to you, is correct? Well, yes. Oh, 
but instead you apply different rules from other students to Chris to make her pass even though she still can never read. Am I right? Um, yeah. So you left Chris as illiterate and did not care because she can speak in class and in culture. Am I correct? Because the speaking ability is far better in this, because he won the prize in the mock trial. So, because of the reason that she could speak, you didn't care about her reading ability. Right. I don't know. Right. So, do you admit that people can never be li literate if everybody else reads for them? Am I right? Well, if someone reads, I thought the ability of reading could be. But it has just so yeah. So, so do you admit that Chris lacked the skill to read so extremely that she cannot do well in the society? Am I right? He won the mock trial. He can do better at the society. But you recognize her best scores in the exam, so you change the rules to make her pass the courses, even though she can never read. I didn't change the rules. You what rules? You make her take different exams because she was a bad test taker. You instead, you, because students have to get all the questions correct in the format. So you made her to do it in the mock trial. Um, that was because There was, a, there was some lack of other skills and some lack, some good at other skills, so I thought that, yeah. Okay.